Hi everybody, I'm Jack the Artist. Welcome to my Big Schools Green Screen Champions project. So this second video is exploring designing vehicles for the future. Is there a way that we can design a new form of transport that enables people to travel in a different way? Green fuels and sustainable designs so something with a smaller footprint than maybe a car. So this project is going to be all about designing a futuristic mode of transport. And I've got a couple of books here for us to look at. Uh, this one is the game Fallout 4, post-apocalypse nuclear age. So the cars are kind of similar to those of the 1950s, but then they they run on nuclear power. The way that they've been designed to look as well as their functions, so how something works. So not just the way it looks, but how it works as well. And when it comes to your design, I want you to think about how something is sustainable. So you'll we'll be looking at uh, designs of sustainable transport. So that could be that its materials are sustainable, so that when the vehicle or the mode of transport, its lifetime is up, it could be that the materials that are used to make it could be recycled. We're going to look at how it fits people's comfort and how people can use it easily and sufficiently. Post lockdown, people going back to work and transport themselves in the future and the changes of lockdown and the changes of COVID-19, how that's going to affect how people um, isolate themselves through transport. So these are all things that we want to think about as well as like function aesthetics and we're going to be looking at kind of the sections of, of design. So looking at like the plan view or the side views and the different kinds of views of looking at a, a design. You could speak to people and ask people for their opinion on is something that's really important in the design elements of a vehicle. And then you can kind of design around that, use that kind of knowledge of people, of, of user experience. And then looking at different types of bicycle and the design and the aesthetics and the way things look as well as how they function. I've got some images here that I've been looking at. And I started by looking at these sort of motorbikes and vehicles that have two wheels at the front like this and then they have like a cover and then a one rear wheel here and you can kind of sit in them and control them from back here. I was thinking about rather than having two wheels at the front just having a single wheel but also looking at how big that wheel is so maybe having a, a larger wheel at the front and a smaller wheel at the back sort of connecting sort of a leaning back chair which people can sit in so I've got my figure in here like this you can sit sit in it and control it from handlebars over here. Introduction of using some kind of visor or guard to protect them from things like pollution and also just generally being on the road, like not being kind of open to the elements. The uh, the pedals, which are down here, as they pedal, they could charge a battery. So the actual bike itself is an electric bike. The person who's riding this bike could change position and change kind of how they use it completely. If you want a leisurely leisurely ride you can kind of lie back on it but if you wanted to you could turn around and you can sort of lie forwards on it and control it from handlebars at the back of the bike and instead of using the pedals they become accelerators and then the whole bike sort of transforms into this more kind of like a racing bike you could use um, actual images so if you wanted to you could have a go at collaging pictures and start by doing some collage I'm not going to do collage with this one I'm going to just sort of go straight in with these ideas and have a go at drawing these more um, technically have a go at doing a side view and a plan view so looking at it from the top and maybe try and see if I can fit in a front view as well so I'm going to start by drawing my side view here so I'm going to just draw a sort of a area for the ground there like that so that's going to be my first wheel and then I'm going to another thing is I'm thinking about the aerodynamics so mark in like really really carefully these aerodynamic lines that will help you sort of follow curves and shapes and then my smaller wheel down here So these are sort of alcohol pens 
these are really good for kind of um, sort of shading in areas. And then if I work over areas as well, they should it should sort of go darker where I where I draw over. Where areas of it would be fluorescent, so I'm gonna just sort of mark in some kind of I'm going to have a go at doing now a front view. So this time I'm going to draw another line for the for the bottom area here. And I'm thinking about basically what your vehicle is going to look like from the front. So it's like you're taking it and you're just twisting it and turning it. And my one's going to be quite slim and kind of aerodynamic. Um, and again, it's going to obviously start with the wheels. It could be worth sort of just penciling it out first. So that's kind of my front wheel. And then the handlebars are in line like this behind it. And then I've got my, my pedals, one and two there. And then I've got that dome sort of shape. I guess goes something like that from the front. And then the seat inside that sort of glass dome. So if I kind of follow something like that, and if you want to be really, really accurate as well, you could measure the first parts that you've drawn. So you kind of use this as a scale and sort of measure them. So I can see this wheel is um, just over sort of three, about three and a half centimeters. So I'm going to measure sort of three and, three and a half centimeters. And that's going to be my wheel, sort of me looking at my wheel from the front so with my handlebars sort of coming out from down here. I'm going to try and keep it nice and sort of symmetrical if I can. It might be a good idea when you're drawing this to also do some lines just to help guide keep things nice and central. So it looks like kind of the right sort of shape there and then I've got my sort of bubble shape. I'm just going to use this curve with a bit of grace. So it kind of does look a bit strange because you know you're looking at the vehicle straight on but it's just it's a real like challenge to try and work out you know what would what would your vehicle look like straight on try and visualize something that doesn't even exist so it's good to use other things that already do exist to kind of help you come up with sort of ideas of what you think it would look like just highlighting the glass area like that just to make it look like it's just catching the light front view of my vehicle i'm just going to do a shadow on the floor down here i'm going to do a try and do a Pla sort of a plan view, so looking down from the top. Now, again, this can be as mathematically precise and engineering precise as you want. So it could be that you measure your model. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do it quite precise. So from the edge of the this wheel to the edge of this wheel, it's 11 centimeters. So I'm gonna do it the same, the same size. Right, so this time it's like we're looking down above it. And then my seat is actually going to cover over this wheel, so although I've drawn it to kind of show where it is, this bit is, is above it, so if I was looking down here, the seat would be actually obstructing my view, like covering my view. So I'm now going to draw that kind of seat and where the wheel connects to the rest of the body of the bike.
then we can also start to think about materials as well so you can start to label your your vehicle as well so I'm gonna sort of think about okay so what's what materials are is the glass made from is it made from recycled um, is it made from recycled plastic bottles or maybe the um, this reflective paint that I've, that I've designed here I'm gonna do a little close-up of this reflective paint it's really up to you like you can come up with some incredible ideas in terms of the sustainability of the materials and also the sustainability of the design so the fact that the design itself can be um, could have a long shelf life or that, that, that when when it's broken it could be broken down and recycled into something else yeah and if you wanted to as well you could you could draw in a figure the scale of your of your vehicle so obviously like this I can start with like a rough sort of head shape and then just a silhouette of a body of a body sort of standing like that